Hey guys, Anthony here from the Faculty of Apps with another quick tip for your Apple devices. To be honest, I'm not a fan of the way Apple has implemented split screen. So I'm going to show you a little app that you can purchase from the App Store that I think does a much better job. Before that though, let me show you the Apple way. Hover your mouse pointer over the green button in the top left corner of the app to choose between full screen and split screen view. You'll then be prompted to choose a second app to display on the other side of the screen. You can then drag this slider to resize your windows like so. You'll notice that whilst in split view, as with full screen mode, you lose visibility of both the menu bar at the top of the screen and also the dock at the bottom of the screen. Hovering your mouse over either will bring them back into view. Hovering over the green button again gives you the option to replace the current app with any other apps you have open. If you open a new app whilst in split screen view, the app will open in a different workspace. These workspaces act a bit like additional desktops and you can access them by pressing your mission control button or by swiping up with three fingers on your trackpad. You can then switch between them by swiping left or right with three fingers or by clicking on each one. You can also create additional spaces by clicking on the plus button here or by dragging one of your apps to the left or right of an existing space. The app will then open full screen in a new workspace. To exit full screen, bring the menu bar back into view and hover over the green button again. If you own an iPad and you're logged in using the same Apple ID and connected to the same Wi-Fi connection, you'll see this additional option to move your apps to your iPad, effectively using the iPad as a second display. To exit split screen mode, simply open Mission Control and click this icon. Now, as I mentioned at the start of the video, I'm not a fan of the way Apple does split screen. If you're familiar with using a Windows PC, you'll know that you can just drag your apps to the sides or corners of the display to split them across your screen. I much prefer this Windows method, which is why I purchased this app from the App Store called Better Snap Tool, which I've been using for years. Once installed, Better Snap Tool will run in the background and sits up here in your menu bar. There are lots of options you can play around with, but basically it now acts as if you're using a Windows PC and you can drag your apps to the corner and sides of your screen. It also works in all of your workspaces. So you can drag apps between workspaces and split them across your screen like so. I can't remember what I paid for the app. I don't think it was too expensive. And personally, I think it's well worth the money. So that's how to split screen on Mac. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hitting subscribe for lots more quick tips on all your Apple devices. And here's a quick way to quit all of your apps using a single key combination and an easy way to add spaces to the dock to organize your apps into groups. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.